South Africa is endowed with natural resources, energy and mineral resources. The mineral resources range from precious metals, ferrous and non-ferrous minerals, as well as industrial minerals. South Africa remains the leading producer of minerals such as platinum group metals, chrome, manganese and many others. The country is committed to strengthen the energy resources and infrastructure for the growth and development of the country's economy with its diversified energy mix that includes all forms of energy technologies such as cleaner coal, nuclear, gas, hydro, renewables and battery storage. Both sectors played a key role in the country's economic development, which has transformed South Africa into the most industrialized country in Africa. Solar energy from the sun is a vast and inexhaustible resource poised to play a prominent role in our energy future. While we continue to acknowledge our rich source of other energy sources, including fossil fuels, these natural resources are regulated and governed by the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy. The Department of Mineral Resources and Energy was established on 29 May 2019 through the merger of the Department of Energy and the Department of Mineral Resources. The intention was to create a better equipped and capacitated new department that will respond to the strategic objectives derived from the National Development Plan and the medium term strategic framework. The energy and mining sectors are a beacon in South Africa's transformation through economic growth and sustainable development and the dawn of the new Department of Mineral Resources and Energy is envisioned to bring this expectation to fruition together with our state-owned entities. We continue to ensure the optimal utilization and safe exploitation of mineral and energy resources through the regulation of the petroleum, mining and minerals industries, the formulation, maintenance and implementation of integrated minerals and energy policies to promote and encourage investment into these sectors ensure the health and safety of employees in the mines, manage, coordinate and monitor programs and projects focused on access to minerals and energy resources as well as manage the nuclear energy industry. The primary mandates of the DMRE, Mineral and Petroleum Regulation as well as electrification programs are decentralized through the existence of nine regional offices across the country. The DMRE has set out to place South Africa's mineral and energy sectors at the center of the national strategy to bring the necessary improvements in the quality of life for our people. This overarching goal informs everything the department does from the programs that we implement to the innovations and technological advancements we propel as we create smarter, modern, more sustainable ways to deliver on our promise to empower the lives of South Africans. We are leading advancements in mining and energy, making these essential industries more sustainable, able to take advantage of technological shifts and responsive to changing environmental dynamics. A future where the minerals and energy sectors are at the heart of economic growth and development, social equity and environmental sustainability is within our reach. The department's mandate is derived from Section 24 of the Constitution of South Africa 1996, Act No. 108 of 1996, and the department's legislative and policy mandate from the Minerals and Mining Policy for South Africa White Paper 1998, the Mineral and Petroleum Development Act 2002, Act No. 28 of 2002, the Mine Health and Safety Act 1996, Act 29 of 1996. The two acts provide the regulatory framework for the promotion, regulation and health and safety of workers in the mining, minerals and petroleum industry. Energy is the catalyst for economic growth. We believe South Africa's energy sector is geared for growth. We have a strong natural resource base and a variety of viable energy options. We have made considerable advancements in technology, exploration and development of energy sources and the country has sophisticated and well-developed transport transport and energy infrastructure in place. Government has published the Integrated Resource Plan IRP 2019, which is a blueprint for the next decade and sets out our commitment to a sustainable future energy provision. Central to the IRP is the path we have set for the future energy mix in South Africa. 
the Independent Power Producer Program has been designed to go beyond the sole procurement of energy to also contribute to broader national developmental objectives such as job creation and the broadening of socio-economic upliftment. Under the Independent Power Producers Program, tenders are structured as rolling bid windows that only allow for sustained market interest, but also increase competitive pressure among bidders to participate and offer a continued reduction in pricing. Access to electricity is the golden thread that connects economic growth, increases job creation and alleviates poverty among our communities. National infrastructure development is not possible without electricity. The Safari One Research Reactor at Pelindao maintains an impeccable safety and environmental record and has ensured that South Africa remains a leader in the production of medical radioisotope that we supply to the world market. The reactor is also utilized in neutron activation analysis, neutron beam line research, neutron transmutation doping and various academic programs. We are heeding global calls for change and South Africa is a signatory to the Paris Agreement on Climate Change and has ratified the agreement. The country is motivated and guided by the UN sustainability goals and the country's emissions are expected to peak, then plateau and decline from the year 2025. Concerted action is being implemented to reduce our emissions and we continue to make significant investments in renewable energy, energy efficiency and public transport. The Department of Mineral Resources and Energy is focused on delivering greater diversification in our energy and mining sectors. While we have relied heavily on single minerals and energy sources in the past, our focus for the future is to build sectors enabled to deliver affordable and sustainable energy to all. This requires a deepened focus on systems, technologies and skills. The fourth industrial revolution 4IR presents an opportunity for us to lead with technological innovation and create jobs through reskilling our workforce in the sector. We are investing in research and development and believe sustainability will be achieved through innovation. The Department of Mineral Resources and Energy is aware that technological disruption will touch every aspect of our lives and we are building responsive novel delivery and supply systems. We are preparing for the jobs of the future and we are exploring ways to take advantage of the benefits of artificial intelligence as we set out to ensure that South Africa continues to exploit its vast and indigenous minerals responsibly and sustainably. We have placed sustainability at the heart of our efforts to transform mining. The sector has proved resilient in the face of unrelenting change and continues to provide us a unique opportunity to develop inclusive and sustainable industries. The sector has provided the impetus for the development of an extensive and efficient physical infrastructure and has contributed greatly to the establishment of the country's secondary industries. We continue to encourage exploration through our state-owned entities, among which is the Council of Geoscience, which undertakes geological mapping and maintains national databases of the country's geospecific data and information. Small-scale mining is a priority and the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy has put a framework in place to promote the transformation of small-scale mining activities into commercially viable projects by providing technical and social regulatory support for community-based projects and developed an artisanal and small-scale mining policy. The health and safety of our mine workers remains a priority and we have set out to protect the lives of our workers. The department recognizes that mining is more than just about the minerals, but rather that equally important are the mine workers responsible for turning the investments by mining companies into wealth. Thus, the department continues to implement initiatives aimed at protecting the health and safety of mine workers and ensure that all mine workers return home from work unharmed every day. The Department of Mineral Resources and Energy contributed to the country's drive to deliver inclusive and sustainable growth as we set out to ensure transformation, growth and development from the country's mineral wealth and abundant energy sources. We are on a path to improve the lives of all South Africans. The DMRE continues to contribute to the development of a transformed, diversified and sustainable minerals and energy sectors, contributing to economic growth by the enablement of energy security and affordability and environmentally sustainable mining industries.
South Africa is a competitive investment-friendly destination that is open for business. This was brought to you by the South African Department of Mineral Resources and Energy. For more information, go to dmre.gov.za.